Hi, Barbie. As you can see, I'm trying to showcase pink in honor of the movie. So I'm Jay and I got a lot to say. First of all, y'all, I wanted this movie to be a win for Margot Robbie so bad. She's been in a lot of flops and it's no shade to her. She really has been in a lot of flops. I think her only two successful movies have been I, Tanya and um, Wolf of Wall Street. So I wanted this to be a win for Margot Robbie. Seeing all of them put in the marketing and you could even Google Barbie movie and the Google would like become pink. I loved how it was branded as this sarcastic take on Barbie or like it would be making fun of Barbie in a way. So I loved all of the effort that they were putting into it. Love that they were trying something original. I mean, the Barbie toy is not original, but you know, just try an original idea as far as a story goes. Starting off, the movie started off fantastical. The Barbie world was actually insane. Like, that's a place you would want to live. And so I love seeing the Barbie world and how they operate, how they eat, how they walk and how they talk. It was crazy. A part of me wanted to like see if like the whole movie just happened in the Barbie world. Did an amazing job as far as costume and set design they like took the cake I loved how they had all the different type of references to barbie like the prosthetic arm barbie and wheelchair barbie and midge pregnant barbie and um just like even at the end credits you just see all of the different barbies that have come out and that was really cool to like see i'm not a barbie fan like i don't play with barbies but you could tell a lot of love was put into this is for every Barbie fan. Talk about Margot Robbie, she killed this role. Of course, she was perfect for the role. And I loved how there were those serious moments, just like there were those funny moments. She really was the through line for this movie. I couldn't have imagined it led by anybody else. I was rooting for her and she really came through. Ryan Gosling was really funny. People were saying he's too old for the role. I don't think that's true, but I do think that a lot of his comedy wasn't hitting and I don't think it was his fault. I think that him as the actor was really good, but I think that the writing may have been a little bit off. Issa Rae was hands down the MVP of the movie. Like she had like five lines in total, but she really made the movie. I think that she even her one-liners were just so funny. It was like, oh yeah, I have President Barbie over. She's like, yeah, you do, you're welcome. Like, it was so funny. And there's a moment at the end where she like, just blurts out a curse word. And it was the funniest thing because nobody was expecting that. Issa Rae really like, cut. Issa Rae was really a solid piece of this movie. Alan was also funny, Michael Sarah playing Alan. I thought Alan's character was so funny. But there were so many confusing moments with him. Like towards the end of the movie, he's just like fighting construction workers. And it's like, where is this coming from? Like, are the construction workers part of the real world or the Barbie world? Like, how does Michael Sarah, I mean, how does Alan know these construction workers? It was funny, but it wasn't making sense. Will Ferrell's in this movie. And guys, I don't think Will Ferrell was good in this movie. And I say that, I think he's a phenomenal actor and comedian, but I just think it just wasn't working in this movie. Like, we get it. He has the whole screaming thing like, ah, ah, oh, Barbie. Like, it, I, I get it, but it wasn't helpful to this movie. I, I honestly couldn't imagine it, him doing it another way, but it just wasn't working, and I don't know why. Let me know in the comments what you thought about his acting. I thought it just wasn't... Hitting. Ruth the creator makes an appearance. Um, I don't think that's the real Ruth. I think she passed away a long time ago, but, or I don't even think that's her daughter, but she appears and there's moments where it's like, what are they trying to say here in this movie? Like what, it, it, it would be a comedy and then it would like pop out into these really like dramatic, what it means to grow up and be a woman thing. And it was hard to, I wasn't against it, but it just was hard to like follow it and take it seriously. Let's talk about the plot a little bit. So the beginning 
again, stepping into Barbie world was one of the like highlights of the movie. I got really concerned about the plot and where it was going. Like things start happening to Barbie. Everything's not perfect anymore. She goes to weird Barbie and weird Barbie was so funny to me. I just thought the whole splits things like seeing a weird Barbie was really, really funny. And just like how the kid was messing with the Barbie and how does a weird Barbie get messed up? Like that was really, really funny to me. I really wish they would have talked about the relationship between all the weird Barbies together. Like why are they all at that one weird house together? I loved how they had the Barbie dog in weird Barbie's house because as a guy growing up, like even I remember that dog. Right, I didn't have to play with Barbies to know about the dog. Like, I loved that. Getting back to the plot, you, again, the beginning had me concerned because it was like, wait, is this just for the kids? Because it seemed like it was marketed as something more sarcastic. So there was moments where it was like, okay, I know this, this is supposed to be funny, but it's not funny to me. Is that because it's for the kids? I loved the dance sequence in the beginning, like, it was perfectly choreographed and it just felt like that's where the movie wanted to stay in and live in. Just like moments like that. Like that's, I would have loved to see more of like that type of Barbie world. I'm not going to lie. I was not a fan of when Barbie went to the real world because it just was so like jarring as opposed to the Barbie world. And it just wasn't really making sense to me. Like a lot of the comedy wasn't making sense. Like, okay, they're on the run because they punched some guy or now they're um, going to jail because they stole these clothes, but they're still wearing the clothes even though they're released now. Like a lot of it, a lot of the comedy again was not hitting. And the whole Mattel thing, I, I love seeing Barbie get chased around by the Mattel workers, but not so much the Mattel company itself. It just was not funny to me but maybe it was funny to the kids Ken leaves barbie and goes back which i thought was really strange and then i i started to see and it's like wait is ken the villain of this movie and it started to become really weird because it was like wait are they really making this choice like i don't know if that's smart marketing for the toy like if you make ken the villain aren't girls gonna stop buying Ken dolls. I didn't think it was a smart choice branding wise. Loved the, I loved the mom daughter situation and like Barbie trying to reconnect their relationship and make things right with them. I love that whole dynamic, but I thought towards the end where the whole like plot point was trying to get the brainwashed Barbies to like listen to the mom. I thought that was so strange. Like I thought like, why? Why do they have to talk to the mom in order to, like, remember who they are? Like, I get it, but I just thought it was a weird plot point. Like, I'm like, is this really the climax of the Barbie movie? Let's talk about Kens for a second. I thought the whole comedy of all of the Kens was really well acted. But again, I don't think it was hitting like it was supposed to. And again, maybe it was for the kids. Maybe it was for the kids, but a lot of the comedy, it seemed, I loved how over the top it was. And I appreciate the over the top. I appreciate the Kennergy. I appreciate the I am Knuff, but I think it just wasn't hitting for the adult audience. And there was a lot of comedy in this movie that just was jarring. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't work. Like when Will Ferrell, called Barbie a Jezebel. It just was like, like I think that the writers would get that joke, but like the kids in the audience for this show just would not get that. Like, you you feel me? It was weird how Barbie had to like, listen to Ken sing that song for such a long time and then like try to get him to get jealous of other Kens. I just thought, the whole time I was thinking like, is this really the plot point of the Barbie movie? And so they get all the kids to fight each other and that whole choreography, that fighting choreography and then turning into dance and, you know, I thought that was a little funny, but I just thought it just was such a specific taste of humor. The Barbies find out that they, they have voted, they get the kids to miss the vote and they are now 
in control of Barbie land again. So the Barbie saved the day and everything was restored. And so Ken has a moment where he starts crying because he really wanted to get with Barbie. And Barbie goes to comfort him. And I thought there was gonna be some reconciliation. I thought, you know, like, hey, you know, Ken, it wasn't your fault. Like, that's just who you are. And you need me to guide you because it's Barbie and Ken. But no, it was like, no, I don't like you in that way. And we'll never be Barbie and Ken. And you got to be Ken on your own. And it was like, again, my mind went to like the marketing of these toys. And I'm like, is that smart? Like, I don't know if that's smart for the toys. Like, I'm just saying, like, you make them the villain and then they're not supposed to be together like really like happy but then barbie is the only one who's not happy and it's like what's going on like what do you want and the narrator comes out and is like i think i know what she wants and so there's this weird moment where barbie is talking about how she's not barbie anymore and she doesn't want to be barbie and so the the narrator ruth woman creator woman is like well who do you want to be and you already know who you are. And y'all, I thought that was so confusing and weird. Like, I get it. We can have a deep moment about growing up and not being little boys and girls anymore. And part of being a human is changing and growing. But I thought that moment just kept getting dragged out. Like they were talking in circles. I'm not Barbie, but if you're not Barbie, who are you? And it's okay if you're not Barbie, but if you want to be Barbie, and it just was like really, and like it wasn't supposed to be funny. So I just felt like it was getting dragged out so long, which was only confusing things. I guess in the end, she turned into a human and she goes to see her gynecologist. I thought the movie was full of passion, was full of love. Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie really, the whole cast really put everything into this movie. The comedy was not hitting for me. There were some moments that were really self-aware and I love that like when the daughter's like white savior Barbie and the narrator's like, if you're trying to make a point about beauty standards, please don't use Mar Margot Robbie. Like that stuff was funny. The most of the comedy was not hitting for me. I probably laughed like twice, but I do appreciate the love of this movie. I did enjoy myself because I saw these artists who were enjoying the story that they were telling. A part of me not liking it, as far as the comedy, is probably because I'm an adult and not a little girl. Brings up questions about like the marketing, because it was marketed like this sarcasm. And there was like making fun of Barbie moments, but it, the comedy wasn't hitting for me. And it's probably because I'm an adult. Sometimes this movie didn't know what it wanted to be. But again, I still, even though I wasn't in my seat, bursting with laughter i still enjoyed the movie because i saw that a lot of love was put into it yeah i, I like the movie i like the movie was it my favorite thing ever no but i appreciate trying to tell a new story trying to um put as much love and passion to a movie as you can and just really going there i really appreciate that and so it's a thumbs up for me it's a thumbs up for me all right, y'all, what did y'all think of Barbie? Did you go and see Oppenheimer the same day? Do you think Margot Robbie was perfectly cast for Barbie? And who was your favorite Barbie? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.